Hello everyone, welcome to yet again another Friday new product post where we talk about the new products for the week. Let's see what we've got for this week. First up, we've got this little guy. This is a 5mm Piranha LED. I'm not sure why they're called Piranha, but that's what they're called. Um, it is an RGB LED. It is relatively small. You can see it there. Um, the interesting thing about these is they actually have four little feet that are kind of arranged, you know, in a square like that. So instead of a normal RGB LED that has all the legs lined up straight, it actually has them like in a box configuration. Um, these are completely square and they have a little dome over the top. And these are nice because they um, actually fit into a board a little bit neater, I think, than um, you know some of the other RGB LEDs. They have that nice little dome and the square form factor. And it's just a slightly different package than a normal LED. Um, we used to carry these before. We used to carry these in 10 packs and the supplier just fell off the face of the earth. We found a new supplier and now we sell these in singles. And I've got just a really basic little demo to show you of one lit up. And it does fit into a breadboard. You just kind of have to turn it a little bit. You know, if the legs are like that, you just turn it so it's like one, two, three, four is the way that it lines up. So we'll just plug in our cable here. And there you go. It just um, It's just on a simple little program, the cycling the RGB values into random. Very simple little RGB LED. And we just wanted to show you in the video that it can be plugged into a breadboard. You just have to rotate a little bit. Next up, we've got the highly anticipated YoYo OTG. This is the on-the-go version of the original YoYo that has been talked about for some time on the internet, and we now finally have it ready. Um, the interesting thing about this is it's very similar to the original YoYo, except for some power tweaks, some other little tweaks on the board, and we've also added the OTG version. So now you can switch and select between the standard USB host and the on-the-go, and it even comes with the OTG cable, so you get these together. So it's a pretty cool, pretty powerful little board if you're looking to do any kind of Java development. Um, for Android, this is a great little board, and you should definitely check it out, and we've got it in stock. And lastly, we've got a new breakout. This is the breakout for the 74HC165. This is just a um, very simple um, serial shift register. The thing about this is, let's say you're running out of digital inputs on your microcontroller. Something like this allows you to use only four digital pins to actually shift eight different digital inputs. You can even daisy chain these if you want to get more. So it's a nice little solution if you need a lot of inputs. You might be familiar with um, some other shift registers. We have another one like this that allows you to do output. So you can do uh, multiple LEDs off of just those four digital pins. We were going to do a demo in this, but we figured we should do just a really formal demonstration of this versus the other shift register, what shift registers really are, how they work, and all that stuff. So we've got a supplemental video that we'll link to in this description, and we'll have it on the website on this product description and the other one so you can learn about shift registers. So there you have it. These are our products for this week. As always, we have a couple more new products on the website, so go ahead and check out the rest of the post. And we'll see you again next week with even more products and maybe even some more videos. See you then.